Gosh, she's beautiful, isn't she? Kind of says to you that anything is possible. She's right. It is. I mean, just think of all the hundreds of thousands of people who passed by in the ship that brought them here. That was their first impression they had of America. Mm, not my ancestors. They came in ships, but... not through this harbor and not to any liberty. It's a different time now. Yeah, it is. I'd rather be part of this country than any other I've heard about. I was just thinking that I haven't seen the Statue of Liberty since you and I were kids. You remember? Just looking at it, it's funny. It's like it makes you want to be bigger than you are. Better than... We just hit those rocks I warned you about, Mr. Quartermain. Oh. Oh, well, uh, well, uh, uh, what's the damage? Well, there's a good chance she's been holed. I'll have to go down in the bilge and assess the damage. All right, I'll, um, uh, I'll, I'll meet you there. Fine. I've radioed the Coast Guard. We might have to abandon ship. Abandon ship? My foot! Abandon ship? Yeah, wait, wait, listen, listen. If anything happens, one of us has to stick close to Grandma. Okay, just get her out of that chair. We start to go down, because that thing's going to sink like a rock. Right. Go, Grandfather, go. Go take care of it. Uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, um, it, uh, it seems that we've run aground. And around, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go uh, check on the damage. And in the meantime, just everybody just stay put. Carmine, I, I trust you to keep the troops in line up here. Uh, Alan? I'm here. Well, now on you, you and Ned, come with me. Grandfather, oh, no. All right, oh, you stay there, good boy. Honey. All right, every look. Uh, look, look, folks, there's probably nothing to worry about. Oh, what did you know about boats? Ships. Grace, it says ships. Carmine was in the Army. Does anybody know where the life jackets are at? Are there enough to go around? Yeah, boats always, always have around. life jackets. Edward looked pretty grim. Could we really sink now? Now, don't listen. Just don't worry, because, you know, I, I earned my life-saving badges. Girl Scout camp when I was 12. Well, I never knew that. Well, yes, I did. no shape to end up in the water. Oh, well, listen, nobody here wants to end up in the water of New York Harbor, oh, believe me. Oh, folks, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait wait, 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 wait. There's no use speculating until we get more information, right? Exactly. Reginald, champagne. Absolutely. Champagne. Yeah. That's the best idea. Oh. Can't wait to tell Mom about this. Something up, Pete. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Nice. People, we have a very serious emergency. Now, huh? listen. We need some strong backs willing to go down into the bilge and bail water with us. We're gonna sing. We're gonna sing. Right. We're yeah, gonna sing. We're gonna sing. Right, Count me in. Well, I can bail with the best of them. And that's just what you'll be doing. I'm there. Yo, give me a bucket. Nothing is going to stop this wedding. I am just gonna bail right alongside of you. Well, where the bride and groom go, the best person go, so let's do it. Me too. Okay. Um, Jason, AJ, I'll uh, reassign the responsibilities I gave you. Good. We're ready to bail. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. 
We're gonna let these men have all the satisfaction. No way. Um, you have two more very strong bones. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. Uh, we we still that's need uh, leadership up here, uh, Carmine. Now you're in charge. If we start going under, you get Lila out of that chair. Right? Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to go to join. The wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get over here. You're not going anywhere. You have a heart condition. Well, you have a bad back. Yeah, well, well, you don't want to mess with the bad back. You'll end up in traction. They're both going to stay up here, and that's final. Oh, damn it, Lila. You said yourself that we needed leadership here. Well, I'm not used to anyone here. <laughs> yes, you are. You're keeping me from going bananas. Come on. I think we should go get the children into life jackets. It's a good idea. You know, I've heard of bailing rowboats and canoes, but, but, but how do you bail something this size? Fast and furiously. What else? Well, listen, the real question is, how do we keep people calm? Well, forget about calm. I'll set up for a life jacket. Here you go, Mr. Oh, oh, oh. There's enough for everybody, right, Ed? Yeah, next, we'll let all join hands and ask the band to play Nearer My God to Thee. Oh, that's a great idea, mentioning the Titanic right now. Actually, uh, they, they sang, uh, the hymn that they sang was Autumn. Yeah, you know, Reggie's right. It's a, it's a common misconception. Well, I suppose you two were there. Well, yeah, I'm somewhat of a uh, maritime disaster buff. So. No kidding. Me too. Well, that's revisionist history. That's what it is. I think singing is a lovely idea. Oh. Uh, hit it, boy. That won't do. Well, help us out, Mary May. Come on. Yes, sir. Lieutenant. Give me a D. Titanic didn't sink after all. Of course it did. Everybody knows that. Oh, yeah, go, go, go. The All right. Uh. Oh, Has anybody noticed the conspicuous absence of rats? They got off long ago. Here's the Come on, Kevin. How about a little oh. literary illusion? Yeah, Doc, does that be a metaphor for something? No, I'm a little hard pressed at the moment to come up with a figure of equivalent of arms being pulled out of their sockets. Sockets. How you doing, John? It's more empty. Justin, how you doing? Empty, empty box. Come on. Hey, 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 come on. Let's go. Oh. We'll hang in there, will you? Oh, oh. Are we recycling the entire harbor through the bilge? What's oh. going on? You got it. No. Uh, hey, is everything all right? Yeah. What happened to our heavenly cars up there? Oh. Yeah, we need more inspiration. Uh, uh, 99 buckets of bilge on the wall. 99 buckets of bilge. If one of those buckets should happen to fall. All right. <laughs> Oh, 
Sounds to me like the bilge pump just broke. Bail! 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 Bail. Bail. Yeah. I'm trying. Bail, bail, bail. Doctor! Always revert to gallows humor in a crisis. What crisis? Look over there. Carmine isn't worried. He has all the Cerullos laughing. Look at him. <laughs> that was good, Carmine. That was good. <laughs> Look at our husbands. They're born leaders. If I don't mind saying so myself, they're in their element. You see, they planned it just so they could light up in charge. I think males are always a little uh, helpless at women. I think you're absolutely right. But they're pretty terrific, aren't they? Pretty terrific, yes. Hmm. When, uh, when do we start heading them to the lifeboats? Well, we'll give them about five more minutes. It's, it's pretty risky trying to cram all these people into those little boats in a choppy sea. This may not be the best time to mention this, but as a city kid, I never learned how to swim. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Your life jacket will keep you afloat. Yeah, well, you know, they say that drowning is an easy death. It sure would solve a lot of problems. Oh, no, you don't. We're not getting cheated out of any of the time we have. <laughs> Uh, my study of maritime disasters shows that the very few ships actually sink. I mean, that's why we remember the ones that do. Well, that's a good point, Reginald. Yeah. I'd like to go help Mrs. Ward and Dr. Hardy with those children. They've seen other kids not afraid. Maybe it'll set a good example. Emily, you have set a magnificent example to us from the first day you ever came into our lives. Oh, oh Emily. <laughs> I want you to go in the stateroom and check on the children for me, please, okay? Oh. This situation is beginning to look very serious. I, I, my guess is that they're going to want us to, to abandon the ship. But what about the people bailing in the bilge? I mean, will they be able to get out? Of course they will. What if we turn over or something? You know, I think we better go and check on the children's life uh, best, okay, in the stateroom. Let's... All right, now, everybody. Now, listen up. Now, now, there's no need to panic, but uh, we are going to have to ask. We get what? The lights of Chief Ted Bay. Oh, a job well done. Here. My hero. Oh. <laughs> Only a day's work, ma'am. <laughs> You know, as much as we appreciate the accolades, I'd trade them all for some dry clothes and a hot bath. <laughs> Not in that order, I hope. I've been known to deviate. Hey, don't talk dirty in front of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, the couple that bails together stays together. Right? Yeah. Don't catch a cold. Why don't you offer your jacket? Oh, no, I'm, I'm really... And you must be as cold as I am. Oh, thanks for noticing. And I didn't. All right, everybody. Now, as much fun as this has been, we, uh, we do have a wedding to put on tomorrow. The cars are waiting to take the Port Charles contingent back to Oyster Bay for the night. Sleep well, everybody. You've earned it. Good night. Edward, thank you. It was a lovely party. It was a lovely party. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you. Thank you. It was very nice. Good night. An evening to remember, take two. Lois. Yeah. If I hadn't been pig-headed enough to insist on getting closer to the shore so you could see Coney Island better, this wouldn't have happened. Mm -mm. And I apologize. Mr. Q, there's really no need. <laughs> I mean, it was a surefire way to get everybody mingling. It was a real icebreaker. Hey, hey, I, I was on an icebreaker once. Oh. Hey, yeah, and I'd like to hear about that. <laughs> oh, Pop. <laughs> Yes, yes. We'll see you at the church tomorrow, okay? Yeah, we we'll better go out. Good night, Ed. Good night. Thanks for everything. Yes. Mrs. Q, God bless.